Ivone, no. A pak ještě jen masové vystupy. No, vlastně. Takže jen na hec. Hec, že to je. Velkám z tebe. To je to. There is no dignity. When things seemingly start to go right, it keeps them behind you and surprises you with another downfall. Um, this disease, um, it has no vacation at all. I mean, kids, they understand this thing. They can understand that there is no way out when they have this disease. I already understood that. When I was 10 years old, I knew things were never going to get any better. And now, children as young as 10 years old are dying of this terrible disease. It's, you know, it's tragic. Children shouldn't have to die like that. It's not right. And, you know, I'm 33 years old. I'm one of the oldest living individuals diagnosed with this disease. And, um, For the past couple of years, my life has been, has gone downhill for the most part, and my health, I, I used to be healthy, but really healthy, but now things are just going down the drain, my, 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 uh, our medications, they don't even work anymore. I mean, I have so much pain in my neck, and it feels like a choir. Actually, it feels more like having, having your arm cut open and pouring alcohol on it constantly. It's so agonizing. Yeah. I mean, and among, among other things, <laughs> can you imagine how it feels to have to beg God just so you can have a shit in your way? There is no vacancy. And just recently, I've been transferred to palliative care because now I, I didn't want to live like this anymore. And I wanted to die. And I even talked to the uh, to the, um, to the doctors at the health care center. And I found out that it's perfectly legal for, for me to be taken off the ventilator. And it's my own choice. But, you know, 
just uh, just a few days ago, I decided differently because having that knowledge was it served as a relief to me because I know I have a way out, but you know I I've been fighting for so many years and it's just not in me to let go so soon. I mean I'm thirty three years old. I'm too young to die. Why every day I watch my own father taking care of me and you know, she, she's so exhausted and it tears my heart apart to see her that way. And she doesn't want to stop taking care of me and I don't want to live in a hospital somewhere either. And when it gets sad, when I get sad thinking about her and spending so much energy just to take care of me, I, I have to think back and remember how much she sacrificed for me. I have to let her love, her unconditional love, be my motivation to find gratitude in, in adversity. You know, and that's how I smile every day because I not only appreciate that, but everything I have, which is the, uh, the basics of <laughs> having, having a comfortable thing. I don't get those in life anymore. And sometimes all you have to do, all you have to do is appreciate the air that you breathe. All you can do is be thankful that you are alive. Good night, everyone.